Hey guys, welcome back to another ReaperBlock tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of FabFilter Saturn. It is a multiband distortion plugin. It's not free. I got it for $77 on its anniversary sale, and it usually goes for much higher than that. It's such a great plugin. If you like this video, maybe check out the plugin, give it a demo, and uh, I think you will really like it. It is a multiband distortion, so this top area is where we choose our frequency bands. Uh, we just click here, click here, and now we have three bands. Each band has its own set of controls. We have distortion type, a mix control, presets for the distortion for this band, a feedback control, which kind of does a feedback loop and choose the frequency. Um, really interesting effect that we can get into later. Dynamics, so it's sort of like a transient designer, uh, which really helps sculpt the sound of the distortion. I have the overall distortion level plus a panning just for this band. We have a three band EQ plus a presence control, then the level for this band, as well as panning. You can command click on the Mac or control click on the PC to reset each control. We also have solo and mute for each band. We want to delete a band, we click the X, now we're back to one band. We've got channel mode, left or right, or mid side. Auto mute prevents the feedback setting to uh, self oscillate and destroy your speakers, that kind of thing. High quality mode makes it sound better. Different monitoring options, you can listen to the input, the side chain, or the output of the distortion. There's an in and out trim plus panning controls on here and an overall mix. In Reaper, we already have a mix control here. And remember, each band has a mix control here. We can also bypass the distortion for each band. All right, so let's listen to the sound that we have to start with and bypass the plugin. So it's a baseline in the Carpenter Brute style, three of the same synth stacked with slightly different settings. And it's kind of a part that's designed to run through distortion to bring all three of those parts together. Let's go through some of the different algorithms. Here's Clean Tube, which is one of the more subtle ones. As you can see, each distortion type has a different flavor. Some of them are kind of similar, but a different sort of EQ balance. And some of them are just meant to destroy the signal, like destroy, smudge, rectify. Some of the ones like the amp settings, like screaming amp, are really interesting with the dynamics control. So let's go through that again. And here's power amp. So you can see this dynamics control can tighten up the signal before it goes into the distortion. 
uh, so you don't get those sort of long sustained notes that weren't there originally. Uh, let's also look at the feedback control. It's a really interesting effect you can add to this, especially once you get into automation uh, through the modulation section. With some of those distortion types, that feedback effect is very, very apparent. And some of them, it's quite subtle. You could use that as a special effect, like I was showing there, or as kind of a way to fill in the low end that's non-existent uh, through use of a feedback loop. There's also EQ controls here, uh, which is, seems a little weird because there's, why do we need a four band EQ when it's also a multi-band processor? That's because the bands do overlap. And also we can shape the sound that's coming out of the distortion to kind of change the harmonics that we're getting. So there's a lot you can do just with that. The multiband processing, the different distortion types for each band, the EQ controls. Then we get into the modulation section, adding a whole new layer of complexity to this. There are five different modulation sources we can have in here. These first four are probably the ones that you'll use the most to get the modulation going from within the plugin itself. And MIDI source is for if you want to do MIDI linking from a hardware controller. We just click on the plus, add in a new controller. I'll do the envelope generator to begin with. We can set this up with the level control by just dragging and dropping from this target button. Let's listen to this solo. We can change the amount. So this dragging on this changes the amount that this control will move. So we can turn this all the way down Turn this all the way up, and then it has a full range of control. You can also invert the direction of this by clicking the little plus or minus button on the side. I need to turn this up a little bit so that I can turn down. Actually, let's take this off of the output and change this to the output panning. So now we have a panning envelope, and it will pan uh, left and right. Let's we'll start on the left, go to the right. Let's try that out with the XLFO. And this is an LFO generator. We can have multiple steps like this, up and down. You can change the speed in hertz or also by beats. We can scale the selected value. Let's change the different shapes. This glide control quickly changes the shape of the LFO. OK, so we've got this. LFO setup, we can assign this to maybe the dynamics. Let's bring this 
back in the center. So there's sort of a stuttering effect. Let's take that off and put that onto, I don't know, maybe the low frequency. So as you can see, modulation is really simple to set up with FabFilter Saturn. Uh, very flexible. We also have things like the XY controller, where you can assign two different controls to one, uh, one thing that you can drag around. So um, one interesting one would be feedback and frequency. Gonna invert one of them. There's also a nice big set of presets you can check out. Uh, some of the ones in the best of are pretty neat and fairly advanced. So that's my quick tour of FabFilter Saturn. You can download the demo at fabfilter.com and check it out for yourself. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.